Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. I want to talk about one-sided limits. Here's a function, g of x equals, and it's piecewise defined, x plus 8 for x less than negative 4, and x squared minus 1 for x greater than or equal to negative 4. Describe its behavior as x approaches negative 4. Well, at negative 4, that's where the two pieces are kind of joined together, and so it may behave differently depending on what side of negative 4 we're on. So let's try um, approaching negative 4 from the left. Negative 5 is to the left of negative 4 on the number line, so we're starting from the left and moving to the right. So negative 5, negative 4.1, negative 4.01. Look what happens to the values. We get 3, 3.9, 3.99. These values are getting closer and closer to 4. When x is less than negative 4, we're using this piece of the function. So we're getting closer and closer to the value 4. Now if we start from the right, right, negative 3 is to the right of negative 4, and I go to the left, I get negative 3, negative 3.9, negative 3.99. These are the values I get, 8, 14.2, 14.9, and you can see that these values seem to be getting closer and closer to 15. Okay, so we're approaching 4 from, uh, from the left and approaching 15 from the right. So here's what we say. We say the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left of f of x, sorry, g of x, this is g, is 4. This is the left-hand limit. The left-hand limit is one of the one-sided limits for g of x at 4. And then we say limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right of g of x is 15. This is the right-hand limit. This little uh, superscript tells you which it is, whether it's the left-hand or the right-hand limit. The superscript negative means you're approaching negative 4 from the left, from the more negative direction. And the superscript plus means you're approaching negative 4 from the right, from the more positive direction. Now, notice, these two limits are not equal. Whenever the two one-sided limits are not equal, the two-sided limit, x approaches negative 4 in this case, does not exist. Very important. So in order for a two-sided limit like this to exist, you need both of the one-sided limits to exist and for them to be equal. And that's what this theorem states right here. Limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l if and only if the two one-sided limits, the limit as x approaches a from the left and the limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x equal l, the same number. Only if those two one-sided limits have the same value will the two-sided limit exist. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two bits. <laughs> <laughs>